The biggest hurdle in cancer treatment today is when a drug stops working. A drug that was once working to kill the cancer suddenly stops working and the cancer becomes drug resistant. This can happen in 90% of patients for certain drugs. My research focuses on discovering how cancers become drug resistant so that we can prevent it from happening and make sure the cancer stays drug sensitive. I first began by comparing data between a drug sensitive versus a drug resistant cancer to see if I could find any differences. Interestingly, there was one thing that really set the two apart, and that was this protein called PARG or PARG. Proteins are workhorses of the cell, each doing their own thing to keep the cell going. PARG stands for poly ADP ribose glycohydrolase, and it is an enzyme that helps chop things up in the cell. My findings showed that when cancers have PARG, they are drug sensitive, meaning that the drug is able to kill the cancer cell. However, when cancers do not have PARG, it causes the drug to stop working and the cancer to keep growing. With PARG, I had a big clue, but still one important question remained. What is the connection between the drug and this protein PARG? To answer this question, I used a super high resolution microscope to look at what happens in cells that don't have PARG, and I actually stumbled on a new function for the protein. Cells carry a large number of proteins, each doing their own thing in different parts of the cell. What PARG does is it keeps these proteins separate from each other. When cancer cells do not have PARG, however, it causes a number of proteins to come together to form an aggregate. Suppose I show you small pieces of different colors of Play-Doh. I then mix them all together to form a big ball, it's likely the color brown now, and I tell you to separate out the individual colors. It's impossible, right? That's what a protein aggregate is. It becomes impossible to locate the individual proteins anymore. Now what does this have to do with the drug? Well, most cancer drugs work by binding to a very specific protein in the cell known as its drug target. In my experiments, I saw that when cells lost PARG, the drug target became stuck in an aggregate, this big brown blob of Play-Doh. And if the drug can't find its target in that big brown blob of Play-Doh, it can no longer kill the cancer cell, leading to drug resistance. Through my research, I have now identified how cancers become drug resistant. Future research can now focus on how to stop cancers from losing PARG to make sure they always stay drug sensitive. The goal of a cancer drug is to work until every last cancer cell is destroyed. And with the help of my research, we are one critical step closer to that goal.